So, um, Alan, let's hear a little bit from you. Uh, again, you're here. Um, Woohoo! <laughs> Um, you're here today representing not only just you and care planners, but also the general, um, you know, stakeholder group, if you will, of, of businesses that are likely to, I hope, really benefit. And I know Todd Park has been very eloquent about how freeing the data can have positive impact, not just for consumers, but also for the economy. And uh, so, not to set you up too much, but um, <laughs> any, any thoughts on that? I'll try to follow through, Elijah. Um, before I start, just if everybody out here worked with the same collaborative and open nature that this group of folks works under Todd, under Lygia, under Farzad, we would be a far better society. There is more going on in this area because of their efforts than you could ever imagine. So I speak to you today both as a patient and an entrepreneur uh, in a startup capacity. Um, for me, in 2005, I was 35 and just started being fatigued and went through a year of eight different doctors diagnosing me with everything from adult onset asthma to uh, nodules on the vocal cord to Lyme disease and beyond. After eight months, I was on 12 medications, had eight doctors that weren't communicating, four institutions that would not communicate with each other. It's Coke and Pepsi. There's nothing altruistic in that part of the system. And the diagnosis that had not yet been confirmed. At the end of the day, I had thymic cancer. So it's a rare form of cancer. About 500 of us a year are invited into the club. The thymus is a gland between your heart and your lung. Uh, after in utero, it generally dissolves into nothingness. In some cases, it does the opposite. So after I was diagnosed with thymic cancer, I called my insurance company, not to be named. Uh, they couldn't find it on the drop-down menu. So I didn't have the disease. Perhaps I had tongue cancer. Perhaps I had tonsil cancer. <laughs> But I was still dealing with the eight different doctors and the four different institutions. And I would walk into every doctor's office, and everybody had a personal health record, but they were all different. So I had eight unauthorized biographies of myself out there, and not one single autobiography anywhere to be found. And it was frustrating. And you would bring your records to every meeting and every doctor's office, but they'd still go back to their own records. And you'd start going, I had access to great care. My employer had great benefit plans. I couldn't find anybody to help me navigate this system. And that was beyond the issues of just the data and the data integration. It's what to do with that information. So, you know, as I was talking about this in 2005, my very dear friend, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, who's uh, NBC chief medical editor, and I started speaking. And by the way, Nancy was the person who helped me navigate the system uh, way back when. And she was dealing with her own issues of aging parents. A and the question for us did not start to be, access to information, because we figured that that was a baseline that we were all going to get to, but what to do with that information, and how to manage that information, and truthfully, whether any of us, honestly, are in a position to coordinate based on that information. So we had taken a long time on this. Nancy and I have started a company named Care Planners to help people better coordinate, organize, navigate every positive word you could possibly think, and ultimately implement their system. So the thought is, when you have a legal issue, you go to your attorney. You have a tax issue, you go to your accountant. You have a healthcare system issue for either yourself or your co-pilot. And it's really caregivers here who experience a lot of the challenges, as much as it is the patients. You call care planners. So we have a team of nurses, social workers, and other insurance and billing advocates around the country who will help you navigate the crisis. And what we want to do is help people per better curate their personal health records by a third party helping you do so, so that it's available for you when you need it. We want to use the blue button mm -hmm. and make use of it. But then when you're having a difficult time, have somebody help you through that crisis. And then from an action standpoint, which was another of the A words here from Farzad and yourself, put you in a position where we're helping you avert the oncoming crises. So in your case, when you knew that you had a particular issue with your heart, and we know that you're on Coumadin or some blood thinner, when you're going for your colonoscopy, you know what? That should be on the list of questions that you're asking your doctor. It would make you feel better. It would make your daughter feel better. But I, I speak for more than just care planners today and really do speak for uh, the legions, literally the legions of entrepreneurs who are ready to attack these challenges and these opportunities. And I've had the pleasure of, through my career, working in the early days of the Internet 
from the advertising technology and the media side. And the challenge there was there was a ton of information available. Nobody had yet developed the technology. I think you have a bit of the converse here. You have the information somewhat available, but the technologists are ready to do what they need to do. So the more that we can make it accessible, the more that we could put it in a position where people could utilize it for themselves and the application for their betterment leads to efficiencies and a win-win for the system. So again, I, I have to end this by thanking you as I did at the beginning because without this forward thinking and progressive approach, uh, none of us would be here right now. Thanks. Jump on in. Just add, add one point to that in terms of what my two colleagues next to me said is uh, how does a healthcare provider invite somebody to use health IT? They give them more time. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that they least have available. And I think both my colleagues next to me, um, you know, you spoke about the three A's before. None of them necessarily were automate. Right. Right? I mean, the human element cannot be replaced in this. So if you're going to just hand your files or hand a discharge plan to a consumer or a patient or a caregiver and not take the time to explain what that is, mm -hmm. it's just a sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. It provides no more value. I think that's right. And I think... Uh, Finally, from a startup entrepreneur community, understand your reference point. Understand why it is what you're building. Technology has become fossil enough at this point that any of us in a room could build an app for any number of things. Doesn't necessarily mean you're solving anything. You need to understand what you're solving for. Just because you build the app that lets your doctor know that you're jogging at 4.30 in the morning does not necessarily mean that the doctor really wants to access that information. And I find that this is, similar in nature to any other startup set of ventures you're finding right now, and it's probably providing some confusion to the rest of the marketplace, frankly, seeing through some of the noise of the apps and, and what are real businesses or not, but understand your reference point and what you're solving for. Thank you. Um, Alan, I think, is dying to get in one last word. One last word. <laughs> okay. So I think it comes back again, and I think to your point, doctor, um, you know, I'm sorry. Um, I think it comes back to in the community, out of the community, people need help more than just the automation. Mm -hmm. And they need somebody who doesn't dumb down the conversation for them, but who is on the receiving end of the information, who could help folks make sense of the information that they're using, and then make sense of a plan going forward. And I think that's what everybody up here is trying to accomplish. And I know it certainly is what uh, you are as well. Thanks so much. Round of applause for the panel.